what we're looking at now is our inverse normal calculations. In particular, to start with, you're using a probability to find z on page 38. So what we've been doing till now is we've been giving you an x value, giving you the mean and the standard deviation, and asking you to find a probability. But what we want to do now is reverse that process. So going from a probability and working backwards to find out what the z value is. So if we have a look, we've got our tables. And let's have a look at this very first one that we've been told. So this tells us that we have the probability of 0 0.27664. So what that means that we've got to do in order to find the z value is we have to look in our probability. So this is the area I'm just highlighting now. So all of those numbers inside there are our probabilities. And we're going to start by looking at the numbers just inside this range up to our two decimal point range. And we're going to look to see if we can find a value 0.2764. And we're quite lucky in this one in that we find the exact value we want there of 0.2764. And so what we need to do now is read off the z value that that matches. So if we go back across there, that tells us 0 0.7. And if we go up to the second decimal point, that gives us second decimal point of 6. So that now gives us the z value of 0 0.76. Okay, so there's the probability, there's the z value that matches a probability of 0.2764. And remember that would be our normal distribution, standard normal from a mean of 0 up to, and we're, what we're doing is we're finding that area there, and that area is 0.2764. And we found the z value underneath of 0 0.76. So now let's try um, a second number. So now let me just change the colour of my pens. Um, okay, so now I've got a probability here of 0 0.3991. And so I'm going to look through all my probability numbers to try and find either that number or the, the closest number just below it. And when we do that, we find this value here of 0 0.3980. And we can see the next number after it is 0 0.3997. So that's too far above. So okay, so we can't use that. So that's how I know this is the closest we can get. So now we've got to look at our third decimal place. So let's, if we take the number 0 0.3980, I need to add something to that to get the value of 0 0.3991. And so in order to do that, I need to add 11 to that. Okay, and so that's why on that same row, so I'm looking on exactly the same row now, has to be somewhere along that row. I'm looking for that difference of 11. Okay, so I'm looking in this third decimal place area, I'm looking, so in this area here, I'm looking for that difference of 11, which, lo and behold, comes out to be right here. So then that we've got to look at what that matches up to. So it matches up to our z score here of 1.2, it then matches up to the second decimal place of 7, and our third decimal place that that matches up to is 6. So that gives us a z value of 1.276.